Okay, well, it looks like we are at possessives. If you remember last time, we were doing plural, so let's look at possessives. What mistakes are we going to have here? So I wanted to go to yesterday's, I wanted to go, sorry, yesterday's morning. Um, 昨天早上. So you can see that, you know, it's okay in Chinese to say that, but it's not okay in English. So we just say yesterday morning. I wanted to go yesterday morning. Um, you don't need the possessive in this case. So although it's good that you have a possessive, you remember to use it, we don't use it in this case. Um, same thing with this mistake here. Um, yesterday night, not yesterday's night, or today's night is what it says, right? So I will go tonight. Um, let's see, tomorrow's night is no good, so this is just another example. And the role of her is important. So let's look at this example for a little bit because um, it's different than the ones above. The ones above, you can just remember. Uh, today's night, tomorrow's morning, yesterday's morning. We don't make a possessive from those. So here, we're going to say uh, her role is important. It's the most natural. The role of hers is important. This is OK. It's acceptable, but it's just more rare. If you want to emphasize, so sometimes in grammar, when you want to emphasize something, then you can use a different form. So this is the role for emphasis. The role of hers is important. Um, it's a mother of us. So like the earth is our mother, we would just say our mother. We wouldn't say it's a mother of us. Um, I would say this is pretty common, like the one before, um, but it's also very simple and probably, it's not very serious, but because it's simple enough, you should be able to get it. Again, if you're studying these, then you need to um, go back and watch like videos and see how people talk. and really get into the conversations. All right, the next one we're going to go to is prepositions. So in prepositions, we have, are you going back America? So a lot of times people don't remember to say go back to. Now, this is probably because in Chinese language, you don't, you know, hui mei guo. You don't have to say hui yu mei guo. So you forget it, but um, if you think of it like that, it might be easier for you. So every time you say hui mei guo, you want to think hui yu mei guo, and then you can say go back to America. Um, another problem that happens here, I won't speak too long about it, is that when people say, are you coming back? So remember, coming and going are different. Uh, you can go back to my videos about um, coming and going. I think it's in letter C. So if you can find letter C, coming and going, it's a really big problem. Um, this one's a big problem because this is so common. Go back to, right? Think about, think over, um, back around, right? These are really important in English. Another one here is... Um, I want to go there. I want to, to, I want to go to there. So unfortunately, we have go there. So if you have go and you have there, it's okay. But if you say to America, go 
to America. If this is a place, this is a pronoun. Pronouns, there's no to. So unfortunately, you have to remember it like that. Okay, so we're going to have to end it there, and I will see you guys next week.